Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to the 31st and final day of our breathing challenge. I hope you've all enjoyed the process. I know I have. I've really just uh, enjoyed being accountable to all of you guys and showing up every day and just taking it one breath at a time, so to speak. I've just completed a uh, pretty crazy workout that has been uh, a lot of fun, but it's really kind of jacked me up. So what I would love to do is carry on from yesterday's theme, which is taking that breath down into the relaxation mode, activating that parasympathetic nervous system and just getting into a little bit of uh, a chilled state. So what we're going to do is carry on yesterday's theme of a four breath in, a seven breath hold and an eight breath exhale. So if you guys are keen to jump along and join, I'd love that. If not, save it for later on in the day and go for it. But these are all up for, for grabs. The recordings are all here for you to be able to use as you see fit. So without any further ado, let's begin the breathing challenge. I'll talk you through the first round and then I'll leave it to you guys to complete the last five rounds on your own. All right, we're gonna be going in for a four breath, seven breath hold, sorry, four count in, seven count hold, and an eight count out. All right, let's begin. Four count in. Seven hold. Eight out. Now on your own. Thank you guys, thanks for joining me for the last 31 days in this breathing challenge. It's been a hell of a journey. Uh, last thing I want to mention about this breath work is that we, you know, we've developed the know-how and the ability to be able to now tap into the technology that is incumbent in our body and we have the, uh, the ability to be able to control the mechanisms and the uh, chemistry that's going on inside of our body. Previously, we needed the sympathetic nervous system uh, to be able to outrun a, a beast in the wild or to be able to survive and, and live for another day. Nowadays, we find ourselves in situations where we're, we're still in that sympathetic nervous system without choice, but the more we do practices like this breath work, we develop the ability to be able to control our sympathetic activation and our parasympathetic activation. So um, 
your sympathetic fight or flight system is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a uh, survival mechanism that can be an incredibly powerful asset in an appropriate context. But being able to have the choice to activate it and turn it off, as well as your, your parasympathetic relaxation uh, system is a really powerful tool for your biological and mental state. So keep that in mind. Every time you're doing breath work, you are developing insight and connection when it comes to your body and your mind. I hope you enjoyed this 31 days and I'll be seeing you very soon.